In this video, we'll take a look at like every single feature that we have in a quick way so that you can have like a, a nice overview of everything that we can offer. So let's go ahead. In the main dashboard of projects, we will have all our projects listed and we can even create like several groups. For example, e-commerce projects, agency projects we have here and we have like very nice tools to manage several users and clients at the same time. There are some very nice user-friendly tools that you can use to automate everything and be as fast and efficient as possible. So now let's go ahead to the dashboard. In the main dashboard, what we will have is like all the search data from Search Console and also from Google Analytics. SEO Crow acts as a data warehouse, which means like we download 16 months of data from these sources. And apart from that, we start counting. We could have like two years, three years, four years of data and imagine like how uh, important it would be to have all the data ready. In the main dashboard and what you are seeing is the real data from SEO Crow. You can see that we have already defined goals, which I can see that we have already 74% completed of the goal and we can adjust it in a monthly basis. We have SEO insights, which tells you like which are the top growing keywords, stop losing URLs, and uh, every day that goes, we add more and more insights. Our goal is to be able to match data from Search Console and Analytics and be able to say the top uh, performing URL by revenue is losing this amount of clicks or be careful because like your top first URL by revenue has lost the first position. Uh, as we combine data from Search Console, Analytics, Crawler and Log Analysis, every day we'll be able to offer more and more insights. What happens if we see like an increase in traffic or a decrease in traffic? Uh, we'll be able to see all the answers below without making any type of analysis. But before going into that, I will present you like the configuration of widgets. And um, each person of the team will be able to set up like their own widgets, depending on the project. Annotations, opportunities, devices, questions, like whatever, every single page of SEO Crew is built here so as you can add it in the report. So in the top changes question, we'll see that we can identify like the top growing URLs and the top losing URLs. In this case, we have a very long URL, but uh, we will adjust everything so as you can see all the data ready. For example, if I have here in impressions, I can see which are like the top URLs that are growing most impressions and are losing more impressions. The same way with top performance, I would love to make sure we have like the top five keywords and top five URLs identified to make sure that we are tracking them daily and we know exactly what's happening with them. And then is when the magic comes. I will present this later, but we'll be able to create clusters of keywords and URLs, a brand versus non-brand, core keywords, business keywords, keywords from the blog, URLs that are important or not important for, an, for us and be able to exclude them. We have made like a huge effort on this and we are able to segment all the performance by, by clusters. Then we have the keyword distribution, how many keywords we have in each position, top three from four to 10, more than 10, and then be able to see like the impact that the Google updates have has on, on our results. For example, if instead of last time, I say last 28 days, I'm able to see the performance of the last 28 days and the impact of the Google updates that recently are, are happening. If I'm working international SEO, that will be super important. And as you can see, we have heat maps everywhere. We believe that heat maps help a lot identify things visually. For example, why Italy has like a lower CTR than the average. However, they have like some very nice impressions. In Spain, it seems that we have like a better average position than the rest. And of course, United States has like the biggest clicks and an impression share. What happens if we detect like after an update, we have new keywords. This is super, super important. We are able to identify which are our new keywords and how many impressions and clicks are they generating. For example, it seems that this German article is performing nice, that the sitemap article is crushing it. We have also some strange keywords, but also we see that they're generating a lot of impressions and the same way vice versa. If we are losing keywords, we would love to make sure we understand which are those keywords and how many traffic and impressions are we winning or, or losing. And finally, our like goldest product, which is like the annotation system. This is probably like our most important product and it basically allows you to automate all the results tracking. We create a new article, we improve metadata for one article, we change something in the robots, TXT or the sitemap. Automatically, we go here, 
we add an annotation and the system will tell us if what we did is working or not. Let's go and take a look at it in detail, please. Here, for example, uh, we have like the individual URL report. That's also very important for us because we combine five different APIs. First of all, like the search results previsualization, like how your page is looking into Google. If the page is mobile friendly or not. Uh, this is like the indexation API from Search Console, which tells you like if the canonical from Google is the same as the URL you declared, which was the last time that Google go, uh, went to this URL, and more and more details in terms of indexability. Then we have a uh, performance and we can play around with all the metrics as, as we wish. We have all the keywords, URL, countries, services, like whatever we need. And also, of course, with like the trends activated and, and all the performance. And then we have like the health overview. This health overview is very important because we tell top errors, top warnings with everything that, that is appear here, but also we act as like an SEO extension. We tell you the on-page elements, the links, schema markup, international SEO, social, everything, so as you have everything ready. And the same that happens with the URL, it happens with the keyword. We have an individual keyword report, which tells you how many impressions this keyword is getting per month, which is your market share, how is the trend going month after month, and which is the performance, so as you can have like a very detailed report about the keyword. Going to the annotations, this is probably, as I mentioned, one of our most important products. And how does it work? It's super easy. We add an annotation and we say new SEO title for our homepage. We went from X to E. And then the system asks, asks to us how many URLs were affected by this change. Globally, single URL or several URL. We have like regular expressions, matches, difference, whatever you need. But in this case, it would be single URL, myhomepage.com, uh, when the change was made and which users from your project should be notified, like myself, myself and my team, myself, the team and the clients, like whatever you need. And automatically, for example, I will select 30 days so as we have a bit more data to compare, uh, we will see in a graph and also receiving by email automatically, which were the results created by this. For example, I will go here. I will select click an impression so as we can see. And what we will see is like 30 days previous the change and 30 days after the change. This, for example, we created like a new piece in Spanish and we had like zero clicks. Automatically after creating this piece, we generated over 2000 impressions and 19 clicks. And as you can see, it can be seen exactly like when the change happened and which were the results that were created. And if we need like even more details, we have here in the keyword report, a system that tells us exactly which were the keywords and the URLs that generated those traffic, those increases. I can play around with clicks and impressions as we wish. And this report will be calculated also for 60 days and sent you by email. So imagine creating a methodology that you identify an improvement, you apply it to the website, you create an annotation in SEO crawl and automatically you receive the results by email so as you can forget about setting up alarms and creating annotations like when things happen. And as you can see in all the graphs, you will see like which was the change that was applied. Okay, then we have like the generic performance with all the filters, uh, data, pages, countries, like everything we need. And soon like you will have like all the custom annotations and Google annotations directly here. And you can play around like making zoom and um, setting up like bigger zoom or, or less zoom and you can play around as you wish. Then we have the rank tracker and it's probably like the most important page. Why? Because we track more than 9000 keywords for our project. And as you can see, we have a special issue on our project. We are we have one article in the United States, like how to find a signal that it's performing extremely well. However, this doesn't allow us to see like all the proper keywords we would love to make. So what do we do? We go here and we can play around with the filter saying, for example, I would like to exclude all the keywords that contain map. In this case, it will exclude me all the keywords that contain sitemap. I apply the filter and automatically the KPIs at the top and the list of keywords will be updated, which means like more granular data. Which is the second issue that appears here? Oh, wow, I have a lot of branded keywords that also are not relevant for me. 
I go here, I create a new condition, and I say, I would love to exclude, and instead of selecting here URL or keyword, I have already defined that everything that contains SEO Crow is a brand. So I can say exclude the brand, and automatically again, all the KPIs at the top and the list of keywords is updated. And what happens here? All the list of keywords is like so intense right now that I can say exactly which are the keywords we need. And if I sort by impressions, I can say which would be like the most important keywords for me right now. Like if I would like to, to win like more traffic and, and more high quality visitors, I need to go for these keywords. Rank tracker, SEO software, SEO reporting, and I have all the data here. And you will be asking like, how do I define all these keywords? Super easy, manage tags, I go to rules, and I can say, uh, please put me like the name brand to all keywords that contain SEO Crow or SEO Crow separated. And you can do the same with your brand, with your business keyword. The system is automatically detecting and identifying all the new keywords so as you can forget about making all the work manually. You do this once and then everything is automatically applied. The same way we have for keywords, we have for URLs. In the top URLs, we have also like tags, heat maps, um, tag automation, and also like the URLs that indicate you approximately like the health uh, of this URL, and you can also apply advanced filter. Something that I didn't mention in the previous um, rank tracker is the smart view. What does it mean? If I create one filter, it's like kind of easy to do it every day, but why do we need to spend time if we could automate things? If we apply four or five filters, I can go here to Smart View and say, please add me these four filters into a Smart View and automatically they will be saved. What does it mean? With one single click, I can apply all of them. Actually, let's go super quick to the keyword report so as I can show you. Here, I remove all the filters that I applied. All the data will be restored at the beginning. And then I will go to the Smart View that I already created, which says, exclude a brand and exclude also the map. I apply the smart view and automatically we will see the same report that we were uh, looking before. As you can see, it's super fast, super efficient, and we don't need to invest more time than what's needed. Then we have like the top folders. If you're working with e-commerce SEO, this is like super powerful because it provides you the answer. In this case, the system is telling me that I have an increase of nearly 1.5 thousand clicks per month and 54 approximately thousand uh, impressions per month. I go here and automatically I can see from all the side that I have, which are the folders that are creating this increase. In this case, it seems like the English and the French one are being like the ones that are growing the most. If I would like to see the increasing clicks, I go here and effectively um, the sitemap article is the one creating like the most increase. But if I would like to see also the French one, I can open it and see, for example, like the visibility article is losing, but it seems like we are getting like a lot of impressions from other articles. This is really useful, especially imagine like everything is categorized, slash blog, slash shop, like whatever structure you have on your site, it's really easy to work with this data and you, you can export it in CSV, Excel or Google Sheets. And of course, apply all the filters as needed. What else do we have? Like the tag system. As we mentioned, we have uh, tags for keywords and tag for pages. And what you can see here is the performance of all of them together. For example, automatically the system calculates like the non-brand, which would be all the keywords except SEO Crow. But I can do the same for others. For example, uh, which are the ones that question? Question is because we have how, when, where exactly in, in all the keywords, and I have all the performance, and the same for pages. If I would like to see the performance of the tags by pages, I simply click here, and I can see blog uh, pages, uh, English pages, sitemap pages, and um, like the structure you define would be like the personalized one you, you like the most. And then in the country report, it's very important if you're working with international SEO, for example, here we see that Vietnam is crashing in terms of impressions. Australia has a city here a bit more average than, than the rest. Uh, as I mentioned before, Spain has like a better average position than the rest. And if I click in any of these uh, countries, what I will see is the same SEO dashboard as before, but only with the data from United States filtered. 
and of course I can play around with any of the country. This is like super important because I can see all the data super fast, super directly and analyze each of the countries in a, in a single click. What is the keyword mark and why it's so important if you're working with link building strategy? What this system makes is like it sorts all the keywords by traffic and then it shows you like a, 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 a table uh, with different colors. If the keyword is in top three, it shows like green. If it's between four and 10, it shows yellow and more than 10, it's red. So as visually, you can identify if you are doing best or not in all the keywords and the same you can filter by name, by country, by tag, like whatever you prefer. And it's very easy like to work with this data and especially if you are presenting SEO reports to, to clients. Moreover, I have like a brand versus non-brand performance report. So as imagine you have like one spike in traffic and you need to differentiate if, if that's because you appear in a newspaper or that's because like SEO team is doing an amazing work. Everything is documented here and in the two tabs, you will be able to see all the brand keywords and the non-branded keywords. And the same with the visibility. In the visibility, we can see like all the keywords from the different groups, and I can see which are the keywords that belong to these groups. Top three, four to 10, everything is in, in detail and you can play around. Also, we have like the top changes and it's probably one of the most important pages we have. Um, basically, if you see like a traffic increase or traffic decrease, you no longer need to create data studio reports and uh, work with the API or spend like a lot of hours investing what happened. Here, what it happens is like, we give you the answers directly. Which are the keywords and the URLs you can switch here that are growing the most and are de declining the most. For example, if I have here in decrease, in terms of traffic, you can see like which URLs are winning or which losing, but you can also use, for example, impressions. If you would like to see which are the keywords that have like um, more propens to, to win more traffic because if they are generating a lot of impressions, it means that soon they will receive a lot of, a lot of traffic. For example, here, here we have several articles and landing pages and you can use them to evaluate what should you work next. The same with new and lost keywords. We saw a summary in the dashboard and here we have all the data ready. Which are the keywords that you didn't have before and now as they got an impressions, you can work with them and the same with new, new and lost. We also have a cannibalization report. In our case, we don't have like many cannibalization, but you will be able to see, and it's really powerful. It tells you like how many clicks you have for that keyword, and especially the click share. How these clicks are distributed among the different URLs, and you can filter by country, by name, like for whatever you would like, and of course, export the list in case you would like to work in, in our place so as to have all the data ready. We also have like an opportunities report. It orders all the keywords by impressions and also it provides you like the keywords that are not performing as they deserve. And that way you have an, an, a very nice overview of like what could be like the next opportunities to, to unlock. As we mentioned in the rank tracker, we automatically identify all the keywords that are questions that have a question inside the keyword and we tag them automatically. So that way you can see them here and in our case, as we mentioned, our how to find the sign of article is performing the most, but also we can, for example, exclude it, like exclude like the keyword that contains map. And that way, what I will be able to see is all the keywords that are not related to the sign map. For example, how does a rank tracker work? In this case, it's not applied yet, but when, once we do the report, we'll be able to see because it's loading, it will be able to see all the report and all, all the answers. We also have like a task management system. What does it mean? And what you are seeing here, it's like our own, um, our own development of SEO crawl with all the tasks that uh, we apply. Uh, it's very useful and powerful because you are able to do, um, collaborate with your team in real time. For example, we are building like a full web crawler, which will be amazing. Uh, we have uh, attachments, uh, you can collaborate with the real time, uh, you have like subtasks, collaboration and comments, and it's really, really powerful and you can work uh, with all your team in, in real time and you have notifications for, for your email. And finally, we have the SEO monitor. This is really powerful because we track a lot of parameters, titles, canonicals, meta description, robots, even like the analytics and tag manager codes. What does it happen? 
Imagine someone from the development team or content team makes a small mistake and changes one URL and you don't notice. Like a lot of companies can lose like thousands of dollars. So we immediately notify you so as you could be alerted and you don't need to lose anything and, and you can act like in, in real time and avoiding like loss of, of a lot of traffic. Normally the situation is, wow, the SEO team realized like one week after we have already lost like one week of, of traffic. However, with uh, SEO Crow, you can solve this immediately. So that's a, a small summary. Um, I don't forget that you can customize like your logo um, with your own brand. Um, and especially I would be like more than happy to give you like an enterprise account for free so you can test everything for 15 days. So please feel free to book a demo or register directly and reach out to us. And we really, really hope that you enjoy SEO Crow because we are putting a lot of love and effort. So yeah, thank you so much for being here and for your time. And I look forward to seeing you in SEO Crow. Thank you.